No president who performs his duties faithfully and conscientiously can have any leisure. Peace, plenty, and contentment reign throughout our borders, and our beloved country presents a sublime moral spectacle to the world. With me it is exceptionally true that the presidency is no bed of roses. There is more selfishness and less principle among members of Congress than I had any conception of, before I became President of the U.S. The whole frame of the federal constitution proves that the government which it creates was intended to be one of limited and specified powers. Minorities have a right to appeal to the Constitution as a shield against such oppression. I would bring the government back to what it was intended to be, a plain economical government. I cannot adequately express the horror I feel for a man who can be so base as to veil his hypocrisy under the cloak of religion, and state the base falsehood he has done. It becomes us in humility to make our devout acknowledgments to the supreme ruler of the universe for the inestimable civil and religious blessings with which we are favored. Well may the boldest fear and the wisest tremble and incurring responsibilities on which may depend our country's peace and prosperity, and in some degree the hopes and happiness of the whole human family. One great object of the Constitution was to restrain majorities from oppressing minorities or encroaching upon their just rights. No person can be more deeply sensible than myself of the danger of entangling alliances with any foreign nation. That we should avoid such alliances has become a maxim of our policy consecrated by the most venerated names which adorn our history and sanctioned by the unanimous voice of the American people. Under the benignant providence of Almighty God the representatives of the states and of the people are again brought together to deliberate for the public good. If a man would shake and not be shaken, grip and not be gripped, taking care always to squeeze the hand of his adversary as hard as it squeezed him, then he suffered no inconvenience from it. The gratitude should be commensurate with the boundless blessings which we enjoy. I cannot, whilst President of the United States, Descend to enter into a newspaper controversy. No president who performs his duties faithfully and conscientiously can have any leisure. We must ever mandate the principle that the people of this continent alone have the right to decide their own destiny. Congratulations on listening to these powerful quotes. Subscribe to our channel for access to all our transformational videos. One of the strongest ways to bring about the life that you want is by writing down your affirmations. Take a moment to post your affirmations in the comments below. Then comment on at least two other people's affirmations and impressions. Give hope and encouragement to others as we become one people.